Hey guys, how's it going? I'll be taking over the vlog today. So we're gonna be doing a granite pondless waterfall. As you can see, we have a nice selection over here. So David is gonna come through here. He's gonna pick the rocks that he wants and we'll just get to it. So next thing we gotta do is mark out our area. Uh, we got this nice hill slope here. So actually a little bit too much slope here. So we're gonna be taking a, out a lot of this dirt uh, to be putting in our, our reservoir. So what are you doing? Spill. You're marking out your spillway? Alrighty. And then you're gonna come down. That's a big spillway. Whoa. We're gonna flip, we're gonna flip this basin. So this big old diamond piece right here, we're actually gonna put this way. That way we can put our waterfall right over the corner of the basin. And we have enough reservoir to work with. All right, let's get working. Yeah, it's clipping. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Digging a hole. You're playing the mud. But what realistically, this is a hole for the basin, so that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because I said to dig the hole. Digging the hole. Realistically, it, dig in for a basin. <laughs> All right, so we're on our last stages here um, with getting our basin dug in. As you can see, we got Tran, man. Tran, what are you doing, man? I'm tamping the, the sides and down so that the basin does not move at all. It's making it nice and level for us. So as you can see, we've had to dig a lot. I mean, a spade here to kind of show. Um, that's about a foot high. These nice, big, tall granite boulders, uh, we're gonna pick out a few, frame out our waterfall, and uh, kind of retain that soil back there. So we're gonna get to rocking. have a pondless water feature and I am happy with the way that this one turned out actually um, we have we are on a time schedule uh, right now so uh, the guys aren't right here we had to clean up real quick they have, they're having some company over tonight so we're gonna clean up real fast and then we're gonna turn this on It's Monday, it's the end of the day on Monday. And as you can hear, maybe here, we did get water running. And I will say that this one does look look good. There's 
A few things that have changed though since we last saw it as uh, as uh, Friday ended we actually got water running and we just temporarily had things running uh, just so that way the family and the guests that were over that night could um, enjoy it and now that it's the end of the day Monday well why don't I just show you so yeah things have completely changed so we added a lot of things and there's things on here that I personally I love and hate uh, for example this rock right here I do love and it's it might be really hard to tell on camera but maybe maybe I can get it to, to show uh, uh, right here at this angle there's probably an inch of water going over it and it's really cool because it hugs the rock there but you know it is what it is um, yeah, let's reshoot that. As you can see, there's about an inch, ah, maybe a little less than an inch. And I like that it hugs the rock there, but um, like I said, I love and I hate that rock. I do like the split fall that we had in this area. And one thing that I do love about these little water features here, if I can get you out of the sun, is that, you know, it really fills out this area. This was just a small planting bed that the homeowner had. And, they decided to put in a little bit of a water feature and I really do like the plants and the water at the same time. It just, me personally, I, I really do love that. So it really fills out the area. It's also very simple and not too over the top with the waterfalls and, and, and the water feature itself. So overall, I think we did a great job on this one. If you guys do like uh, seeing these kind of water features, just browse the channel. Sorry, I got sun in my eyes. Just browse the channel though. Um, Tell us what you like about this waterfall.